Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Common Stack, and I wanted to give you a demonstration of this app that we have created to demo the augmented bonding curve, which is the first component being launched by the Common Stack. Now this is actually a JavaScript app, so this isn't in CAD CAD, but this is a demonstration of the modeling that we do in the augmented bonding curve. You can set some of the parameters here, and this is basically um, a future, what could be a front end for CAD CAD and how you could customize and parameterize a bonding curve. So I'll start up here. This is basically uh, instantiating the initial var variables of the augmented bonding curve. So you can, there we are. You can see the description of all the parameters and essentially you're able to alter, this is the percentage of the initial raise that goes into the funding pool versus the collateral pool. So we'll set that at 30%. We can also set the initial price of the token and we can see how that changes the shape of the curve. We can also set the post hatch price. So this is the price that um, people purchase the token at in the hatch phase. And this is the price that uh, the token is worth uh, in the open phase. We can see the exit tribute here. This is the percentage that is paid um, whenever anybody leaves the economy. And the vesting half-life is the amount of times in the amount of time in weeks that tokens are locked and they the half-life of this curve is 52 weeks. So essentially there will be a token drip, and at 52 weeks, half of the tokens will be available to be burned back to the curve. And we can see the hatch raise here is the amount that was raised in the hatch sale. So we can set that. I mean, we don't know what that would be, but we can essentially simulate this and see how it behaves. So you can see the green price here is the price of the augmented bonding curve token. The blue is the amount of funds that have been raised in DAI. So in this case, we've raised 5,500,000 DAI for this community purpose. And the yellow line here is the floor price. So this is if everybody sold all the tokens they received in the hatch as soon as possible. So this basically is, is the vesting curve. So the price of the token can never fall below this because tokens below this line are still locked. And you can play with this simulation and you can see what might happen in your system. You can see this is the hatch price. This is the post hatch price. The, the price can go below the post hatch price and it may indeed settle in equilibrium somewhere. And basically this is determined on the value that the community is providing. So if the community is doing really great work, then perhaps more people will be uh, contributing to this economy and the price of that token will go up. The important thing to note is that this is a sustainable funding mechanism or a continuous funding mechanism for communities to raise funds and do work. So you can play around with this and see how you like it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Augmented Bonding Curve Design Demo app, and we hope you'll come play again soon.